Greetings to the parents of Gentry Junior High. Today we're going to do a step-by-step -step walkthrough of how that you rent your instruments and then at the end I'll show you how to order your um, accessory kits uh, for instruments like the tuba, euphonium, french horn, oboe, bassoon, and euphonium and percussion kits. Uh, we will start out first with the um, rental instrument. So if you would go to the bandwagonmusicstore.com and I'll give you a second to get there. If you're doing this on your cell phone, uh, when it comes time to click on one of the buttons I'm talking about, you'll need to scroll to the very bottom because they put the listings uh, that are at the top normally on a uh, laptop or iPad. They're actually located down at the bottom on a cell phone. All right, so I'm gonna give you a couple more minutes to get there. Uh, and uh, just as a reminder, you want to get this instrument reserved before June 1st. We have a price increase coming uh, June 1st. Reserving the instrument now will not cost you anything. You can always call us and cancel the order if you make other arrangements. Um, if you do decide to go ahead and get your accessory kit tonight, which we encourage because uh, last year everybody was running out of supplies because of the supply chain issues and that's going to be worse this year. So if you can, go ahead and get your supplies uh, today, and um, uh, that way we can go ahead and plan for and get your kits made up. None of this will be delivered, of course, until school starts, and the uh, first payment that you'll see actually come off of your card will be uh, sometime in August, whenever your director decides he wants us to deliver the instruments and the kits. Now, you will see when you do the rental tonight, a button at the end that says pay now. You will actually not pay now, Okay, you will not actually do that. Um, you'll click the button but, and it'll swipe your card, but nothing's actually gonna come out of your account. It will read as a pending purchase. Those of you who are using debit cards, it'll look like it comes out, but in a day or two, it, it'll go away. All right, all right, so let's get started. We're at the Bandwagon Music Store and Repair. And uh, I'm on a laptop, so you're gonna be able to see it from a laptop perspective. Like I said, if you're doing a cell phone, please scroll to the very bottom. We're gonna click on rentals first. All right, and then you'll see a whole bunch of check boxes here. We wanna scroll down to the third from the bottom which is going to be Gentry. On, on my screen, it looks like it's at the bottom, but if you're on a, a laptop or uh, if you're on a uh, uh, cell phone, it'll actually be the third from the bottom, I believe. All right, and we're going to just click on the box where it says the Bandwagon Music Store Gentry. And then we're going to come over here and click on Next. All right, select your school. So just start typing in Gentry and it should auto-populate. There it is right there. Click on it and then come over and click Next. All right, so Core instruments for students. Now on a cell phone, this is going to look like um, all of them in a line, a straight line, okay? But on here, it's gonna look like this. So we are looking at uh, pick the instrument that your student is gonna be playing. And in this case, I'm going to select the Orion Silver Trumpet. And this is just some information for you on that trumpet. So just click next. And that'll bring you to the shopping cart. Now, if you're on your cell phone, you're, these two boxes I'm showing you will be one on top of the other, okay? We are not going to concern ourselves with the box on the left because we are not going to charge you a $473 deposit for this instrument. If you unchecked that box, then you would end up having to pay that deposit. 
All right, so base rent is $39 a month. This actually goes toward owning the instrument if you want, or you can turn it in at any time. Your maintenance and theft policy is $3.90 a month. In Texas, uh, that legally can only be 10% of this total. So if you're looking at other music stores and what they're charging you for maintenance and theft is more than 10% of the price, uh, that's not the way it's supposed to be, okay? Um, sales tax per month, so your total rental per month is $46.44. If you wanted to rent it till you owned it, you would have to rent it for 49 months. This bottom number is uh, what your LDW would cost you over the period of the contract. In other words, if you took this $3.90 and multiply it times the 49, that's how much money you're going to spend that actually does not go toward owning the instrument. That's all that means. That is not an extra charge. Okay? So then click on Next. All right, now we just start filling out the renter's name. And the renter's name is going to be the adult. So I'm going to do this along with you. Area codes, the first three digits of your phone number. And then the renter's home or cell number is the last seven digits. All right. Billing address is your home address where your credit card statement goes. Okay. I'm going to put in a fictitious one for ours. Some of you may recognize that address if you watched old black and white sitcoms. All right, and then billing uh, apartment, lot number, if you are in an apartment, if it's a house, then put the, just the address up there. City. State. Please spell the state out. Oh, actually, it's going to make you select it, so. and then your zip code. Students details. Okay, I'm going to use my wife as the student. Students grade level is the grade they're going to be in band next year at the start of this next school year. Teacher's name, Gentry Junior High is already populated for you, Baytown, Texas. Renter's date of birth, not that old. Hold on. All right, here we go. All right, and then employer name, just who you work for. If you're a stay-at-home parent and you're the one uh, filling out this contract, then you can put homemaker. That's just fine. We don't do credit checks here at Bandwagon, so um, if you fill out all the information on this form, this will be approved, as long as your credit card is valid at the time that you and has money on it at the time that you hit the pay now button. Okay, nearest relative not living with you. They cannot be in your house or live on your property. Doesn't matter if they're in another country, doesn't matter if they're on the moon. Nearest relative not living with you. And I'm gonna put my mom's name. All right, and then a fictitious number for her. She lives in South Carolina, so that's an 803 area code. Relationship to renter, that's the relationship to the person who's actually uh, doing the rental, not the student. That's my mother. 
And then the social security number is your social security number, um, not the, the relatives. Now you can also use uh, a passport number here or a matricular consular ID card number here, okay? All right, so I've got it pre-approved for me to put in a fictitious, so it'll go through, so a security number. Oh, hold on, I forgot. That's not what they told me to do. Give me a second. All right. Now, um, if you try to do that, it would probably go through for you. The problem is, is that once they see that it's not a real number, they're going to cancel your contract. So please make sure you put your accurate number in there. All right. Not saving any of that information on mine. Clicking next to go to the next page. All right. You can select, pick up at store, that's fine. This will all be delivered to the school. You don't have to go anywhere or do anything. We will take care of getting them delivered to the school. So just, if it says pick up at store, usually there's other options on here. Store provided arrangement, for some reason it's not there right now. Um, we're gonna go on. Uh, maybe by the time you see this video, I will have that corrected. All right, so click on review terms and conditions. And, uh, Read through these if you'd like. And it's all pretty self-explanatory. And once you get through the end of them, you can either decline and cancel the order. You can print those terms and conditions to have a copy of them. I'm gonna go ahead and accept terms and conditions. You're lucky you're in the state of Texas. There are a lot of protections for people that are in Texas, okay? Um, here's where I'm not going to be able to go forward with you because I'm not putting my credit card number up there on the screen for everybody. Uh, so credit card number, your expiration date, uh, which they want uh, month here and year over here, your CVV2 number, which is the three-digit number on the back side of your card, first name and last name as it appears on the card, your email address. Now, auto pay means that they'll automatically take the payments off your card so you don't have to send a payment in. What will happen is you'll be in August, you'll see your first charge come through and if you don't click auto pay, that will be the only charge that comes through on your card. Okay, and that'll be in August. September we give you free because we know everybody in, in, in the school district is asking for money for this fee or that fee. So second month, you don't have to pay us. Okay, and then it starts back up with your regular rental payments on Wednesday. All right, so if you do do auto pay and you change your credit card over the summer, uh, you can call in Veritas. You'll get a confirmation email from them once you complete this. Save that email. Uh, or you can call us if you can't remember uh, how to do it, and we can help you get that done. Call us also if you would like to cancel your contract. All right, so after you do that, you'll need to put in your electronic signature, and then you'll click Pay Now. Once again, it'll make a swipe of your card. If it's a debit card, it will look like it actually came out, but it cannot go out until I assign a serial number to your contract, which I am not gonna do until August. That doesn't mean I'm not gonna go ahead and pull the instrument and get it tagged with your student's name on, because I am, but I'm not gonna turn it into Veritas until August so that you don't get paid, uh, you don't get uh, billed for months that you're not actually using the instrument. All right? So, at the end of this, you'll get kind of a congratulations thing, and then at the bottom of the screen, uh, there will be a big logo, a big bandwagon logo, okay? And it, looks like the logo up here in the corner, except just a lot bigger, all right? You're gonna click on it. It's gonna take you to another page. You're gonna click on it again, and it's gonna take you to uh, your accessories, all right? Now, I'm gonna have to do a little bit of fancy footwork here, because I'm gonna go back to the bandwagon link real quick. 
do it the way I wanted. Give me a second. All right. Oh, gotta throw that B in there. All right. So let's hit return and get it back to the main page. All right. So now, this is where those of you with, uh, if, if those of you just rented, hang on for a second. I'm going to get the mouthpiece people caught up with us, the people that have to buy the mouthpiece kits. So now, those of you with the mouthpiece kits, you're going to click on school listings. Or if you're one of the people who rented and you want to buy the kit later, you can. Uh, go to this part and click on school listings and make sure you click on school listings and not accessories. We're going to scroll down and we're going to find Gentry and we're going to click on it. And uh, it's going to ask you for the username. Uh, right now I have the, uh, the username is correct. Gentry J H. And your passcode will be all lowercase band 2022. Now we haven't activated that passcode yet, okay? But it's going to be band 2022. I'm actually going to put in last year's passcode just so I can open up the page and show you. All right. So if you are supposed to rent an instrument first, there will be a big stop sign that pops up that wants to make sure you get your rental done first because you get discounts on the kits, okay? So then you just scroll down and find your kit and click on it, all right? Now, notice on some kits, like the clarinet kit, it says uh, with rental, it'll say when, when renting uh, after we update it, uh, or not renting or no rental. If you just did a rental with us, make sure you click the one that says with rental, okay? Also, if you decide to purchase the instrument from us instead of rent, you can give us a call and we can talk about that. Um, this year, we're going to be adding uh, another one of our Orion instruments to the mix. The Orion Student Clarinet will be, the, uh, will be on there as well. All right. So, not Student Clarinet, excuse me, the Orion Wooden Clarinet. All right. Um, so I'm not going to click on these because the, the information on them has not been updated, but you would click on this and it would take you uh, to your order sheet. So just add one to the cart. And if you're on your phone, your cart button will appear at the very bottom. It'll be a black bar. Don't keep adding it because you think nothing's happening because you're adding a kit each time you click that green button. So just uh, do that for me. Um, and then just follow the instructions. When you get to the end where you're filling out the information on shipping and everything, you're not going to pay any shipping for this, okay? Because we're delivering it to the school. So it doesn't matter what you select as far as shipping method, it won't charge you for it uh, going through this, this account. So you're going to fill out everything as if it's coming to you. Don't fill out any information for the school at all. It will actually auto-populate Gentry JH in a couple of the boxes. Erase that and put your first and last name there instead. Under company name, if you would like to, you can put Gentry JH. Uh, and then whatever shipping options you have, if it's got an option for pickup, select it. If the only option it gives you is to ship, that's fine. Uh, then put your shipping address, and it's your personal shipping address. It's not going to be shipped to you, however. The kids won't receive them until August. And then at the very end, uh, toward the end, it'll have a box for notes. In the notes section, this is very important, in the notes section, please put the student's first and last name. All right, well, that takes us to the end of the entire process. If you have any uh, problems or have any questions, you can call me at 817-583-0001. Um, you can call me at 817-583-0001. This is right here at the top of the screen. That's my cell phone number. If I don't answer right away, it's because I'm on the phone with someone. If I send you a text saying, can I call you later, if you'd like to, go ahead and text me what you're trying to do. Let me know who you are and what school you're from. And, uh, and text me what you're trying to do, and I will get back with you as soon as possible. Um, 
thank you again for watching our video and uh, everybody have a really safe summer. And don't forget, prices will be going up June 1st. So go ahead and get your reservation for the instrument done now. Thank you.